sunset. Uh. I'm get the sunset. Don't laugh, it's not funny. I have my glasses, I can see you. So talk to me nice, I can see you. Morning and night and evening. <laughs> it's evening. Dali! So when I'm bored and I got nothing else to do, <laughs> Lord of mercy, I'm more talking about sitting in about me. I find no words to ask. So I'm just asking no one opinion for something because you know, it's a better than one, so I can only imagine so only for head better than two. Well, I, I let me not go in. Yeah, two heads are better than <laughs> Many heads are much better. Many, many, many. I can never stop looking at this, you know. Like, I look at a million and one times, and it's like, well, any, anybody here who thinks it's boring that I look at it all the time, just don't come. Because I look at it again and again, and I share it. Because many people have a different view, and I would like you to share your view with me. What's up? Ask me, me will tell you. Ah, oh, Jesus, you're, you're quick, funny thing. Ah, make ask, man, don't worry yourself. You know me, you know say. You know me, um, I'm not shy with the asking. Um, a friend and I were talking just a short while ago about self-esteem and the need for validation and why people behave the way they behave. Um, so my question is stemming out of that. Well, my question is multi-parted. <laughs> it's a whole heap of questions in a one. So let me see if I can find a way to ask a question. All right, obviously. All right, let me see. I want to get a very comfortable seat because I could be a while. Because you know, me can chat already. Right, so I ask one question. I'm going to call for me. Being very comfortable so that I don't have to move again. That I make myself come far right. All right, Miss Sidong. I am Sidong. Know me, girl. That yeah. All right. You know my mother need peaceful and calm and quiet. All right. So DJ, me can me afraid for my best behavior. Watch out, DJ. <laughs> it's a lie. She drive me not all of my foolishnesses. She don't do them, but she is fine with me being whatever the fuck I am. So anyway, me want to ask you this now. Me being of sound mind and body and completely sober, twisting my spirit. Um, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine about self-esteem, about the need for validation from others and the lengths people will go to get it, to get the validation. Um, you know, people, most people today feel invalid in their own lives. And so they will employ various different kinds of behavior to get not only attention, but to get validation from the people around them. For people to say, you are, you are enough, you are okay stuff like that but when you go what length at what point do we then cut off and say enough all right i get that you feel bad in yourself i get that you don't feel like you're enough i get that you have issues with self-esteem and, and um you know but at what point do we say enough enough is enough let me give you an example and ask Turn the phone away from the breeze. I, a breeze that all about you not hear me. You push me there. I am like a roundabout, and the breeze is all around me. <laughs> me can't drown out the breeze. 
So if you can't hear me, the breeze win, and I can't bother ox, we are going to sit down and listen to the breeze because I can't do nothing about it. And then maybe I try to ask again later. Yeah, Richie, and that, and that my friend will tell me, but I can't turn away from the breeze. Yeah, you hear me better now? So the breeze will come from that direction when I face. So you now hear me no better? We're not going to get no better than this because I am actually sitting in the breeze. Domain. This place belongs to the breeze. I am catching. So I am a squatter in breeze territory, right? <laughs> and this is why we come here. You know, it's funny, we, we, we go places because we like what they want to reach there, though we try to change everything. I saw humans say, you know, humans fucking sick. So anyway, let me see now. Yes, triple for me done too. Let me see now with my um, question. So, my question has to be preceded by was some just a little discussion. So, my me and my friend, I, I presented a scenario to him and made it want to understand something, but we just couldn't fucking understand it. And then his response was that, you know, some humans just really lack validity so much that they will do anything to feel more valid. Anything. And the scenario is this. I'm going about my business, right? I'm going about my business. I, not being an example, but me personally, Tanya Stevens. Um, going about my business, not minding my business because you know my thing said, me oblivious to everything around me. Um, if me I drive, then I need to see what up on the road because I don't want to lick nothing or nobody. But other than that, I don't need to see nothing. You understand? I will notice if one people look like they might get take away. I will notice if a woman look like she get attacked or a man look like he might get attacked. Um, but I don't notice people, really. Only anomalies. So I go about my business. And my friend will call me. If you can see, so I see it on the live, I will go, call you later. So, I go about my business. And this random stranger enters my space. Jumani, me, me borrowed picnic. Me so, oh my God, I have to break what I say. I hope I can remember because I'm old enough. Jumani, big up yourself. I'm so proud of you. I really am. You see that boy, Jumani, official. He entered the Science Genius Competition. And I was his mentor. I, he never really need me because there was nothing much for me to say to him. He had it all together. And Pantapa said, him put me in my place and make me know when him can have no time for this right now because he must study and he must call later our message when he have time. And I have this exam tomorrow and that exam tomorrow and I have exams this on Wednesday and that. And I'm going to let you know when I, I never feel so good in my life. Like, listen, I did the nicest rejection me ever get. <laughs> Best rejection ever because. I hear old people talking about young people all the time and they talk about how lacking they are in focus and how irresponsible and how much they don't put no effort in their life and here's a young man who was like listen I don't care if you name Daniel Stevens I don't care which competition I enter I have an exam I'm gonna be studying so listen um I can spare you two hours between the hour of X and Y. I can probably give you an hour or two because I'm going to get up back and study and I'm going to study until what I'm like well, okay then, young man. I am so impressed. Trust me. So, big up the young people and where I do it. Despite all the discouragements and despite all the... All of the, the misconceptions um, that older people have of you. You continue to strive. And big up yourself, Jumani, because I'm really proud of you. But big up your parents, because me are proud like I'm here raise you. Big up your parents. Big up everything in your environment where you take and make something great. I love it. And him and him yes, him, him, him exam them too. So now ramp with my boy. Yeah, but what me that asking about now the question I mean, Oh, we were at a scenario I was painting um, a picture of, right? Tanya Stevens I go about our business. I may go want to explain this to me too, you know. Me I go about I'm not talk about myself in a third person, because I'm not crazy. So May I go about my business. 
I don't see no man around me, I don't see no woman, no boy, no girl around me. I go about my business, I have on blinkers, right? Then I notice some buckle of Appleton. I never even notice a person first, I notice a buckle of And then I see who hold the buckle of Appleton, right? First, I see the buckle of Appleton. Because <laughs> you know me like them things. Eh? Then I notice the guy where I hold it. So then, he smile and I smile back because he carry the Appleton. At least I can give me that smile. He, he must be a decent person, he's carrying Appleton, right? <laughs> so anyway, we, we say hi to each other, run to joke, go about business, go and move on, never remember. A few months after that, I go through my message and say, well, I go through some because you know I can only skim the top, right? But yeah, hey, Instagram DM people, I cannot see all of y'all. It's a lot. Um, even if I make it my full-time job, I still can't see a lot of because after a while my brain, you don't know my brain, my brain, yeah, so, I get one DM from one person, I say, hi, you remember when we did stand up at, um, baggage, mm, big up yourself, so you remember when we did stand up at Costa, what baggage, baggage claim and hey, you remember the guy where this, did I talk to you, there was a, we meet a while back at X airport, blah, 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 blah. So I say, oh, you mean the guy where they have an X and they have an Y and they stand up with the Appleton and the Manan? And he say, yeah. I say, oh, no, I'm not remember him. <laughs> right? And we laugh and start chat from this. So, so we are chat. Turn, I say, you, you know, I listen to you and you're cool. Turn virgins. I say, well, bring, bring this in here. That way, uh, still, it get dark quick, you know. I realize it's dark, 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 no. And it just get dark like suddenly. I know just the phone is also out here. Me day, you know, me put, hey, Chris, here's a man. Me need you for, me need you for putting your two cents on this because more want to hear some man perspective because I am of the impression that men are crazy. So now, me go about my business, this man, remember, you know, he, he approached me and then with part company, then he approached me again in my DMs. Right? And he pop up and him say, um, chat to me. I'm a chat back and I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy answer because if you never answer me, I'd be crushed because I don't know me the handle, you never answer me. We joke, joke, joke for a while, for a while, till we end up a chat on WhatsApp. And in turn of be somebody with me think is a nice person, so we chat. Then he disappear. I say, alright, he's a weird person. Weird people can still be nice. He's a very weird person, he's a weird, right? But me no shot at people, so it's no big deal. Pop up back. Out of the blue. Chat again. Chat up a storm. Chat up a fucking storm. It's up here again and start going even weirder than the first time. And I'm like, alright. Let me tell you now. I don't have very much tolerance. But over the years, I realize it. Me try. Like if, me see, if, if, if the people who I care about what in my life tell me, say, something. Um a little bit off or something could be worked on me I'm willing to listen I take it I listen and if it's something that I don't particularly want to keep if it's not something that I think is is instrumental to me being who I am then I look at could it be a different way so I'm willing so right, my antisocial, I have well past social anxiety problems I don't go near people this is the closest most of you will ever get to me is by Instagram on social media because I don't really do social so well so that's why I keep on as a social media and no social at all or if it is social mood in there mood in there because I can't do it so weird I work in front of crowd but I can't really do crowd I get serious serious I hyperventilate in a crowd but anyway so man pop up out of the blue he do that like pop up and disappear something for a while then you disagree with what? Tell you where you disagree with. Tell me where you disagree with before I go no further. Come and I move till you tell me where you disagree with. Say me have social anxiety. Come, make you start when I get fear when I disagree with. Come and I'm not ramping. I'm shocked that you have social anxiety. Oh, you get for shock because I can talk on social media. I'm not me afraid of you. Know. I say I have social anxiety. I say I'm afraid of people. I don't afraid of people. So if you don't say something, me, you know, oh, me no antisocial. I am selectively social. Cause me talk to you, no means I me talk to everybody. So, 
if me going somewhere and me read people from like before me even approach them, you know, me read people energy from the door through the window, through the door, anywhere me can see them, read people on the phone. And when me go in front of them, if their energy not right, me not talk to them. So some people think me don't talk, some people think me talk too much. Anyways, so if you think me wrong, then it means I me talk to you. So you must be all right somehow. But if you think me don't talk, then you know what I go on for you. Go fix yourself. All right, so. Dude pop up. Anyway, out of the blue, a couple weeks ago, dude popped up and said, what are you doing on such a date? My first instinct was to say, nothing. Yes, Chris, I'm going back to the story. <laughs> so my first instinct was to say, I'm um, not me, 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 me no available, right? Because that's what I typically do. And the same person invited me out a few times and I didn't go. Because to be honest, I don't feel like I know them that well. I and enough things, I just never feel like go, so I don't go. And I think at one point I said no, and then when it come down to it, I panic and I said no, I'm not going to I said yes. And then I took it back and said no, I think like the same day. So I did feel a little way now, I still say no again. So I said, all right, yes, me come. I make sure I ask every question, every question. Forget every misunderstanding out of the way, right? And then. I call for my message for confirm. Oh, is that event still on? He um met him say make me go check. So he might check him say one second him go check. And the one second turning out like one hour, two hour, three hour, four. So me make other plans and then me say my message back and say, you know what? Scratch that your second take too long, so I made some other plans. Now me arrange with one plumber for install one entire bathroom. So I really make other plans. I not tell no lie. And that to me is more productive. Because me go sit down in some other people present. So I don't know them. Um, I socialize. When me not really feel social. Um, counterproductive. But me I get one whole bathroom installed. Productive. You understand? So anyway, I say, alright, good. I go just deal with my thing. Um, so I'm not about to come, no, 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 it's still on. I was just checking and rain a fall, blah, 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 blah. So I said, Lord, I feel bad now because I did say yes. So I go back and I cancel my plan and revert to the yes. Right? Good night, shots. It's not a gangster. My gangster did them behind me, man. I want loving Grand Auntie now. So anyway, I go back to the yes. I went back to the yes. And I left out and headed in the direction. Me, on the way, I stopped and I linked my friend Gianna. When I need to call back when I come off alive. And I linked my friend Gianna when I chat and I even tell her about it. And I said, Tell her about it. And she was like, Go, because I get social anxiety again. I want to turn back on my head. I feel every reason under the sun why I shouldn't go. And Gianna and Johnny they laugh after me. Johnny saying, Can't believe I'm this. We talk so in my song. I'm like, Yes, boy. If I did war, I go, I'm mean, not lie. My papa, for a long time, I can't war. But when it comes to like personal stuff, I can't do them. I'm, I'm, I tell you all the time, I don't like the humans. Sorry. But I'm not lie. So, anyway, we reach halfway. So, out of courtesy now, my message for say, I am on my way. We reach halfway, I'm going head towards you. No, 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 Rain a tear. Rain a tear. So I said, Rain a tear so that the event not going again. Why didn't you call me? Why didn't you call me to say that it's not going on? Right? Because I ask a question. I ask you, you know, that's why I come. I come to Uno because Uno are many. So now I got various opinions so I can pick sense out of evening nonsense. So now, I rain a tear, but you didn't call. And then say, well, we ne because we never confirm, like, we never confirm. So that in have a screenshot the whole blood clad conversation. Send back, okay, this cracking. And who call me crack? Who call me crackhead? And I, you know, so that's his mother, like, him and thinking normal. And think saying, all right. But, and I'm me, who call crackhead. So anyway, may I talk to my friend? The, I agree with the disrespectful. So now may I talk to my virgin now. He's a mutual virgin of ours. And my virgin said, that's how we got to the self-esteem part and the need for validation. So, I block him already, don't worry yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I was to do. Hey, I did so vex me start cuss, then I said, what do I cuss for? Because I said, do not call back my bummer class. But then I was like, 
I could stop him from calling my phone. So anyway, me I talked to my virgin and my virgin was like, um, Tanya, you do know some people have such low self-esteem that every and once upon a time, trust me, Major Macrilla can't the real Major Macrilla. Hey, me now want to talk no more story again. I want to tell him how much I rate him to this guy. What? Me is I stand up, teen jam, dance, and take a little rub in the corner. Jesus Christ. No run down, man. Yeah, no, run. no, man. Yeah, yeah, let me get hype now. Mackerel, good evening, Mr. Mackerel. <laughs> Big up yourself. Anyways, yes, yeah, he have too much things are going. But why the bumble clot him about me? Because remember now, you know, before, he called and I asked if I come and I make small talk and then something. Listen, Mr. Mackerel, I rate you to this guy. I love you, I love you, love you, love you. You have no idea. If all my friends from school ever in here, you know, and the whole of you are here, that's the same way, you know. We, we, we tell us that we pop off every flesh off of you. Yeah. He, he's the one who asked you out, so he make it this choice to inform you. Listen to me, man. Let me tell you something. Yes, please. Please, and if you use WhatsApp, put your number in there so I can WhatsApp you. So I can. So I don't have to. Fit, 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 um, to make your ears drip in front of so much people. <laughs> but me telling us, say, this rascal hugs back to Italy. Me can't wait for you to up so me can grow and grow and not in your uptown baby. He not represent all man, none tall, but he clearly isn't ready for your kind of openness and value system family. All right, Chris, I do agree with you. But one more I like to know now is. What is it that makes you see me go about my... Remember, you know, I don't write you for a long time. Because I said, that boy, I idiot. I'm going to go about my business. Right? I'm going to be in my mind. What is it that makes you come back to bother me? Because I'm telling you now, I realize, say, you see two people I love going like, me so all right and my world so nice. and if My world nice, you know, I'm all right, you know. But normal things happen in my world. Like somebody say, you want to go and go to... I have friends, you know, my friends are always ready. So if I drink, I drink. If I if I dirt, I dirt. My friend them always ready. So I don't like to be shot at people, you know. Me not shot at people. But when you say, we you do? You do this. And the reason, there are so many reasons why I do it. One, me got you one little period of mourning. Me in a grief. Me not gonna lie to you. Me in a grief. My friend, when me talk about friends, I'm gonna tell you, say, me have four friends, I have five friends, I have count off. He never united, you know, because he's my more friend. He seem like, him and my family. And he died. I mean, I, I never get a, I never get a, a chance to prepare for that because I know, like, he been bedridden for a while or nothing. So, me I mourn my friend and me in the house and me I cry and me, me not gonna lie to you, me I want a fucking mess. So, the opportunity to go somewhere and be around some other people was actually quite welcome. Salento, Lege, uh, big up yourself, big up all of Italy, big up the whole of the world, big up everybody from everywhere. So, Chris Anish, yes, this is what my friend Carlos said, that by you accepting his invitation, you stroked his ego, maybe that's just what he wanted. So, him probably then hear some of my other Yamed friend them, I show them, say, look, share message me, but the message when me want to tell him is for suck himself, because blood clot, boy, we not have nothing to go on in your life to the point where you need to come and bother, bother me every minute. Me have things that are going on in my life. Me actually reschedule piece of my life. You come at your nothingness. And here comes you. No more want to ask you. Why man do that? That's what I really want to ask you. Why man do that? Because you know. No man, we're not going to stick on the condolences. I don't want to stick on it. I try to figure out. At that, me, at that me, me not going to hear the little yummy in the first place. You know? Because more I forgot, me just want to hear some of me know say I got chat foolishness and make me laugh, and that's what he do. He chat a lot of foolishness. So me not me I'll give him that. He would have been perfect. But when you do stuff like this, like my friends say, people might just look validation. So when you say, when you say Tanya Stevens, come know say man do that. You know, me have a friend one time in a way, a man link her and tell her. And them a chat and then him tell her, say, fe, fe, fe call him. Like, should I say, like him, that say, call him, call me six o'clock. And she call him six o'clock and he must say, yo, me de pa, like him, that say, me de pa Walter, me no, me na bar, me virgin, me, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. And him think him hang up and him never hang up. And when him, 
he, when him think him hang up, him turn to him friend the man and say, yo, this blood clot girl does a call call up man food. <laughs> but him don't know the mad person where my virgin be. So my friend, he hear him say that, jump on a taxi and go down there and say, let me tell you something pussy wall. <laughs> Ah, uh, you tell me for blood clot call you. Me would not call you because you're boring and you're not a hood. So I don't want your body to come in so come talk off your face and try to impress your little friend them. Because uh, you tell me for blood clot. What reason would I have to call you? You're not a money. You're not a hood. What may I call you for? <laughs> I saw the fuck are they wicked. Who would not do that for? Why you must do that? Randy. Don't laugh. Talk to me. Why the fuck them do that? Randy, me have to go call you when I come off. <laughs> Missed opportunity at what? Just laugh and go. No man, I want to ask the man them why they do that. Because some man in here, what do we do, you know? Some man in here, what do we do? And then them have the nerve to go out and act like, yo, the girl is thirsty and the girl is... Hey, first thing, you know, I'm not thirsty. I have water, me have liquor, me have drinks, me have juice, me have fruit, so I can eat them and a bottle of juice. I'm you know. not thirsty about my clot, you know. And if it get too much and I feel like it water, then too normal, I drink salt water and this blood clot. So I'm not fucking thirsty. But what I like for know is why man do that. Because me have this all oh, my brain set now. Let me tell you how oh, my brain set. Then we then could your fuck. How my brain set? Me if you call you 8 o'clock for what? I don't call no blood. Hey, what me I call you for? If I'm me if you call you, I never hear your name. So now, how my brain set? You see, if you disappear, you're going to see me I call you for true. But not because I need you. Because I want to know what the fuck happened. I reach the point. One time, somebody, when I, me and my friend, we, we, I know like, this are no people we sleep together, you know? we don't sleep together, you know? we don't fuck, you know? Um, me and somebody are chatting and disappear. I tell you something. I take out one truth fa you like, man, to Listen to me, man. I tell you something, you know, Patrick. Dirty boy, France stuck home. <laughs> Guys, don't rush him. That's my friend. I'm a real friend. So, this man disappear. I start fret. Come here, say blood clot. We go from in call, drunk call me night night and one bag of talking. I'm wake up and accommodate the talking. Uh, because that's how I stay. If I have a friend, I accommodate. And then he disappeared the next day. So me all gone from truth finders, gone to go truth finders and search for see me see him turn up in and out, crash their hospital, their jail or something like if he's dead. Like what the fuck happened to him? Nothing in a pop up in and out, nothing at all. I'm like, wow, you need nothing to go on in your life though, friend. But in a pop up, truth finders only can tell me saying, born in start grade school, in start middle, middle school, in graduate college, in start work at a place. I'm like, fuck your life, boring. And you have a nerve to disappear? You better start calling me back and make me can put something exciting in your life because you not have no life to disappear going to. Not now go on. But anyway, yeah, they have the little style. Eh? And then, when them boss the little style, they act like, oh my God, this girl, this girl, let me switch that way, you're brighter. You're not brighter, and they say breeze day. But them have, this, them have the little style. We find it very hard to call a man, very hard. Now listen, I know many men me we call. I know many men me we call at all. In fact, I don't have very many friends in general. The people I'm in my real life can tell you. Like, me, yeah, jump in on my car and go, hey, listen, jump in on my car and go circle some men's a real, a real fucking city, you know. Only thing say, I never did my car, I did foreign me there and a taxi me jump in. You know how much hundreds of dollars I spend a circle South Beach and I look in at every club and I search and I search and go a station. These bumble holes, for why? Because now me think you're dead out here. And me know say, you know, nobody special, so nobody not go fought for you. So me I search down the place. And then it, and then that, then you got them right at the song, uh, come back at the hotel and say, I don't see what the fuck you're acting like that for. You overreact to everything like, nigga, I'm sorry you're not dead for two minutes and come no way. And you just steal the blood clot dead galang. Why are them like this? <laughs> Why they stay so? Eh? I don't understand. So I'm asking the men on my life now, explain to me what the fuck is wrong with you now? What wrong with you? Because something wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. I'm a, let me tell 